Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made a series of claims about the royal family in their Netflix documentary series. Despite their assertions, the palace maintained a stoic silence regarding these allegations. However, the Sussexes' claims were subtly debunked by the royal family without uttering a single word about the couple. It became evident that actions speak louder than words, as the royal family addressed Meghan's claim that she wasn't allowed to wear certain colors as a senior working royal. According to Meghan, she couldn't wear the same color as Her Majesty during group events, and she also shouldn't wear the same color as other senior members of the royal family. She mentioned in the documentary series, I wore a lot of muted tones just to blend in, I'm not trying to stand out here. In an interesting turn of events, the royals gathered at Buckingham Palace, and most of them chose to wear white, while Queen Camilla opted for a red outfit. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, looked effortlessly elegant in a white gown and a dazzling tiara as she arrived for the state banquet, held to welcome the President and First Lady of South Korea. She added to her look with a glitzy pair of earrings from Queen Elizabeth, her family order, and a GCDO session star. The royal also adorned herself with the Strathmore Rose Diara, which originally belonged to the Queen Mother and was a gift from her parents in 1923. Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, wore her aquamarine tiara for the state banquet, and she chose to recycle her bespoke Queen Susanna dress, which she first wore to the coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla in May. Princess Anne also attended the state banquet, wearing what appears to be the same white dress and bolero that she wore in a 70th birthday photo shoot. She accessorized with a diamond festoon tiara, festoon necklace, and a diamond bow brooch. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla sported a sophisticated scarlet ensemble as a tribute to her late mother-in-law. She wore Queen Elizabeth's magnificent ruby and diamond Burmese tiara which was made in the 1970s using gems from the Nizam of Hyderabad tiara, given to her as a wedding gift. Camilla's red velvet evening dress by Fiona CLA featured a relaxed silhouette with flowing sleeves and a pleated skirt. She styled her blonde tresses into her signature look and opted for dewy peachy makeup. If Meghan had been present with the rest of the family, it's unlikely she would have adhered to the white dress code. Her tendency to draw negative attention to herself could have marred the entire evening. Meghan's allegations seem to have been proven false, as the family's coordinated attire speaks volumes. It's clear that when family members appear together, there are instructions on how to dress. Notably, the only person no one should exactly match is the Queen. At the banquet, Camilla was in red, while Princess Anne, Kate, and Sophie all wore white indicating they had likely received specific instructions. Dress code adherence aligns with past events, such as the Commonwealth Ceremony in 2020, where the colors of the Union Jack were the obvious dress code. Meghan, however, showed up in a dress that was greener than Kermit the Frog. Even at Prince Louis Baptism, where the mothers were expected to wear white and the other ladies blue, Meghan appeared in olive drab, disregarding the guidance she was given. She later blamed the British royal family for not providing proper guidance, 